Hi, my name is Lily Ellis. I'm a senior at Wahoo. Catchphrase, chanting sounds! Catchphrase, chanting sounds! And this is not a bedtime story. When people look at me, they see a thin, pretty girl. Heels that make my 5'10 body tower over others. False confidence is my shield. A bubble of illusion with every step. I'm the girl you see as perfect. I've got the perfect body, the perfect grades, the perfect life. I'm a straight-A student with a 3.9 GPA. Loads of opportunities taken for granted. I can get into college if I really tried. People think nothing can stop me. The truth is, I'm the girl who's known the word broken since she was six. Torn away from her father, pushed out of a house she called home. A divorce that left her confused. Tears streaming down her face. I'm the girl who lived with her two brothers and single mother in a bare apartment. Beds, no frames. Windows, no curtains. Walls, no picture, kitchen, no table, an apartment, no home. I'm the girl who lived with a fire-breathing father replacement for the next eight years. The monster who hated everything about the children in that apartment. He slashed with his claws, threw flames out of his mouth, wars down to nothing. Shells of the carefree children we used to be. Our innocent minds, tired of being roared at. Third degree burns down in my bones, never visible to anyone but me. We tried to fight back, but you can only attempt to slay the dragon so many times before you run out of lives. I'm the girl who suffers from anxiety because of that man. I was locked in his torturous tower, taken away from the pleasures in life, never able to talk to anyone, never able to see further than my backyard. My only escape was the chest of stories sitting in the corner of my room, words on pages that let my imagination wander away from reality. But the beast ripped them in half and snatched away my only hope. He left me alone with my mind, wishing this tower would envelop in flames, wishing the flames would take him or me down with it. I'm the girl who overcame the illness the monster planted inside me. Confusion, guilt, anger swallowed me in waves as I suffered through the final years. Years of crying every night, years of stressing over my grades because I'm afraid of failing. Failing meant the abuse would get worse. The feeling of being a disappointment stabbing me in the back. The loneliness starts again and I'm banished back into my tower. I was set free when he left us. My mom was no longer blinded from the beast and said she had finally felt the fear her children had all these years. Panic bubbling inside her, he might return. One year passed, no contact from him. Two years passed, the panic subdued, three years now, and the weight on our lives has been released. I strive to be the best I can because I never want to feel like a disappointment ever again. I reach for my dream of becoming an artist because I want to show the world my experience through my passion. I'm close with my friends and family because I know I'm not alone, and I know I'm not a failure because I've never failed myself.